Hello, welcome to my apartment, come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I live in the Lower East Side. This is my first apartment. I just moved from Tampa, Florida to New York City. It's pretty crazy. I knew I wanted big windows. I wanted a fun kitchen. I always look at kitchens when I'm looking at apartments. And it's just such a great location and I'm so thankful to be here. It's a great apartment. I was looking at luxury buildings. So we have amazing amenities. We have a gym, a roof that was really, really important to me. Um, so yeah, and I also wanted to shout out Sierra Boulanger Interiors. She helped me create the apartment of my dreams, you guys. I told her neutral vibes, kind of hotel luxury chic feeling with a bit of naturality, I guess. I don't know, me trying to sound all professional like I know what I'm doing. I don't. I just showed her Pinterest photos and we went from there and we worked together. I will have her Instagram down below. She is awesome, so shout out Sierra. Um, but yeah, welcome to my kitchen. Here we are. It's so funny, when I was looking at apartments, I thought I wanted like an all white kitchen like you see in everything. And when I walked in here, all of a sudden I was drawn to it because I felt like it added some dimension to the kitchen. So I was really excited about that. I got the white countertops at least, so it kind of contrasts out. I like to have my pans out so it looks like I'm cooking. And I try to keep as much counter space as possible. Obviously I have to have my fireplace going at all times. Fake fireplace, of course. Over here we've got all of the appliances that you could possibly imagine, including my infamous toaster that everyone always asks about. I will also have a ton of the things that I talk about linked down below for you guys. It is so cool, I freaking love it. I can pick what type of bread, if it's a waffle, what the intensity is, go from there. Also fun, the microwave is hidden. Don't mind my unorganized mess, but that's real, you know? And then the refrigerator, obviously. And then my kitchen table right here is actually, so living in New York, you aren't always gonna get room for a desk. So this is doubling as my desk and table. So it was important to me that it was big enough, but still functional and I can move around the kitchen. I always have candles burning everywhere. Um, so this table is from Crate and Barrel. I love it, I love the texture, it adds a little something and it's the perfect amount of space. I went with three chairs, they're all from Crate and Barrel as well. I like them because they're like director's chairs kind of and they're perfect for since I'm also working here as a desk. And I also love that this dishwasher is hidden. You would never know, it's just this little dishwasher guy. This apartment building did a great job of hiding a lot of the appliances so it has a super clean look. Um, so headed over to the living room, which is probably my favorite part, honestly. If you guys follow me, you know the couch saga. I initially got a different couch that was honestly a different vibe. It was also this white ivory color, but it was more square, it was a little bit bigger, definitely more of a comfortable vibe, but it was getting delayed so hard, you guys. I, I don't think it was ever coming, so Sarah and I decided to find a new couch, and I found this one on allmodern.com. It's this beautiful boucle material, it's round, it's so fun, It's it's honestly so comfortable. These two pillows, I tried to be all professional and do like the chap. Um, they're from a store in Brooklyn actually, which I thought were so pretty. They added something to the space. And then my statement, this gray Malin photo. I am obsessed with it. I'm from Florida, so I knew I wanted some beachy vibes for sure, but I didn't want just like a photo of a beach because I felt like it would really look like a hotel in here. So I went for this, it adds some dimension, some color, because it is super neutral. Sierra was like, we need some colors. I was like, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so we went for this, off the grid. I have a podcast called Gals on the Go, and we're always traveling, and there's an airplane in this, and I loved the balloon art. He does so many photos like this. You should really check out his work. So cool, so I thought off the grid was perfect. Also, over here, there is no overhead lighting, you guys, in this apartment for, for the most part. There's a little bit in the kitchen, none in the bedroom, so I had to literally add this for functionality, but I think it's pretty great. It's from West Elm. I turn it on at night when I need some lighting. And then over here, this is a faux palm tree from CB2. I really like it. I purposely wanted it to kind of droop over the couch. I really, I just love this area so much. I just take way too many photos of it. 
Then the coffee table. So important, it adds something. I've always wanted the perfect coffee table and I finally got to accomplish that. So Sierra taught me the rule of three, which is like you usually have like a bundle of three things. It just looks better apparently. I don't know, it's this rule. So we've got three coffee table books here. I've got a Tom Ford, Gray Mallon photos, and Norma Kamali. My guy friends always joke, they think this is a big necklace, but it's actually decorative beads. They're from Pottery Barn and I honestly love what they do. Got a New York City candle burning, of course, some coasters. This bowl is from Pottery Barn and then on the inside I got these little faux moss balls from Ballard Designs. And I think they add some greenery, some fun, because again, super neutral in here. And then there's also a ton of storage in this coffee table, which I love. So I put like my remotes and things I just don't want to be out and about. And then I have even more storage underneath, which is for candles and everything. And this coffee table is from Pottery Barn. Moving over here, um, <laughs> so this is what I like to call the accent chair. My boyfriend was very confused. He thought that meant that the chair has an accent. No, not necessarily. Um, I just wanted something funky and different, and this chair honestly does that. It's the CB2 loom chair. I love it, it's actually quite comfortable. Would I sit in it for hours? No, but it's pretty great, and I just love what it adds to this apartment. Over here, these lanterns, you guys, are so cozy at night. I got them from Crate and Barrel. I got three different sizes to add something. I feel like I keep saying to add something, but you know, it's all about just adding that little pop. Um, so at night, they're so magical. They're just battery powered candles. I turn them on as this beautiful glow. And then over here, New York City living, man. You gotta get as much storage as you possibly can. So this is a dresser from One King's Lane and it fit perfectly right here. So I have so much clothing in here, it's actually unreal, but I'm using it as a TV console. And then on the top, I've got some coffee table books, this little knot from CB2 on top. And then I have this tray with this really cool sneaker candle from Shop 11. It smells like men's cologne. Will I ever light it? Probably not, because it's so beautiful. Um, I'm very into my apartment smelling very good. It has to, like literally when they walked in today, they were like, it smells so good. I was like, perfect, that's the goal. Um, so I've got a diffuser with vetiver scent diffusing throughout. Santal 26, home spray, chef's kiss. And then I did want to shout out the rugs. In my apartment, we layered some rugs. So we've got this jute rug from Pottery Barn layered with this beautiful rug from Lily and Georgia, Lulu and Georgia. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But yeah, that's the living room. We're gonna head on into my bedroom now. Right as I go in, actually, I have this mirror from Anthropology. I've always wanted it, so I was so excited to have it in this apartment. Great for you know, outfit photos, photos with your friends. It's beautiful. It's the Anthropology Primrose Mirror, and this is the medium size. So let's come on in to the bedroom. So in here, the goal for my bedroom was for it to be a safe space, very relaxing. When I come in my bedroom, I'm either getting dressed or I'm going to sleep. It, I wanted it to be like that. I didn't want a TV in here. I didn't want too much technology. I didn't want a desk. Well, I don't have room for a desk, um, but you get the idea. So. I think we did just that. I've honestly never slept better than this apartment and I think it's because we curated the vibes. Um, so this bed frame, is it's a super low bed. I've never had a bed this low, but it's so perfect. It's from CB2, it's the facade bed. I absolutely love it. And then we went with super simple white comforter, these throw pillows. And then above I have this artwork. It's like a weave situation from Crate and Barrel. I'm all for like one big statement piece so you don't have to worry about getting a ton of different little things. And then here we have these lampshades that I scoured the planet for you guys. I needed to find them and they were sold out everywhere. They're from Ikea. They're like $14 or something. They're so cute. I have colored light bulbs in them and then I actually got these rope wires so I didn't have to worry about wire covers. And they're perfect. It's so great. I have a remote. At night I'll put the red light on. It's super relaxing. And I didn't have any other overhead lighting in here. so. We went with that. And then my nightstands are from article.com. I love the wooden finish. They're so simple, so sleek. They look great and I just have coasters on them. The little clear quartz crystal to clear me before I go to bed and a little clock. That's all you need. And my phone charger, of course. Um, and then over here, I love this area. It, just, it makes me so happy. It feels like this like vanity situation. 
So this is actually a TV console which is from One King's Lane. It's the same place I got my dresser from my living room, but we kind of flip-flopped because the dresser wouldn't have fit in here, and this was honestly too small for the space out there, so it's kind of perfect. So on top, I have the Anthropology Gleaming Primrose Mirror. This is the smallest one, and then I have the medium one out there. I'm a little obsessed, I know, but I love it. I love how it's just against the wall. It's so beautiful. Here I have this little vase from CB2 and then we put this faux pompous grass. Highly suggest, it adds so much to a space and it's just so bohemian and happy. And then these two drawers, we were working with minimal storage here. I've got the intimates and then in here I have um, my sunglasses and jewelry. And then these are actually so cute. They're from Serena and Lily. This one's for laundry and that one's just for extra throw blankets. And then we've got this other faux plant, which is also from CB2. It's the Birds of Paradise, I believe. And then rule of three, we've got three candles right here. We have another sneaker candle, we love that. Um, and then these as well. I just thought they were really, really pretty and I didn't wanna just put them away. They have to be on display. And then headed out of my bedroom, I did want to have a mirror in right next to the closet. So if I'm getting dressed, it's super easy to just see what I'm wearing. This mirror is from West Elm. We're not gonna go in the closet. It's just not organized. Um, so yeah, and then leaving my bedroom, on the way to the bathroom, I wanted to shout out this thing right here. I was struggling about what to do in my entryway. A lot of people were saying, you know, a little table, you can throw your keys, but I don't have a lot of storage, especially because my, my bed is really low. I don't have any storage underneath. So I got this storage locker from West Elm. It's awesome. It literally fits so much, but it's so sleek. It almost kind of blends into this area, which is just, so perfect, I, I usually my entryway is just full of stuff but this allows me to kind of keep everything in and so I have like my grocery bags, tote bags, I have books down here, just random stuff that I accumulate that I'm just not ready to let go of yet. It's kind of like, once it's in here, it's like okay, it's probably on its way out but it's just perfect and yeah, we will head to the bathroom. On the way to the bathroom, I wanna shout out my little closets right here. I am so thankful for this closet. <laughs> my coat closet, I these would not fit in my other closet, so I'm really thankful for that. I feel like that's something about living in New York because in Florida you don't see coat closets a lot. Um, so coats, my vacuum, random stuff, and then in here I am so thankful. I have a washer and a dryer, so that's what's going on in there and towels and linens and stuff like that. So that's what this little hallway is. On to the bathroom, another part that truly sold me on this. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. I just love all of the white. It's so clean, so crisp. Actually, I didn't even see this when I was touring. It's a little hidden medicine cabinet. So I've got my skincare in there. It's so fun. I feel like I'm in like a Vogue beauty secrets. And then I had to buy this. It's from, I forget where, but I'll link below. It just has extra storage. So I could just put all my products in there. I've got my hair products, my body products. And then over here, I also, it's not that cute, but it's just a little storage rack from Amazon and it rolls out I just have my like soap my perfume hair tools and then we've got the drawers shower it's a great shower I'm so thankful for it and I actually try and keep the um, shower curtain open because I just love how my shower looks but the shower curtain is from Brooklinen I have everything Brooklinen in here you guys it is simply chef's kiss the towels the linens everything Brooklinen um, and yeah that's the bathroom I think we're done which is so crazy I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks so much for coming. I had so much fun showing you my New York City apartment. Hope you enjoyed. Come back soon. Subscribe if you guys are new here and I'll see you soon. Bye.